excuse me, this will be the venue for Olympic Rugby Sevens in the LA Olympic Games. How incredible a thought is that. And these teams are on the cusp of taking their shot at the Tokyo Games. And this is another encounter between two teams that we know are going. Players really wanted to stick around, had the tenacity to endure the pandemic, pandemic and still end up going to Tokyo. Big collision in the air, the but not 10. Argentina with the ball halfway line, going up and bringing it down. Hermann Schultz, then out to the corner. Oh, great move by Rodrigo Echart. And Echart still trying to find the line, dancing around, finally gets taken down by Yang Song Min. Simple numbers game, releasing the ball. Lautaro Bazan Velez makes the pass. Trying to find space through a gap, a good tackle from Korea. Now it's Hermann Schultz, the try scorer. Good support there from Luciana Gonzalez. And big Rodrigo Igro. And it's Igro. Another try for Argentina. Two on the board. We'll stretch the lead. 12 points to nil. Easy conversion to come. Korea hasn't played any sevens for 18 months. Since the last time they were here in Los Angeles, it's been a long, hard road during the pandemic for this Korean team. Very strict protocols. And over the line again is Rodrigo Igro for his second try of the afternoon. Very quick rock there from Argentina. Then a hot. Mexico squaring off as well. And that ball just beautifully kicked, just drifting over the 10 meter line. And Argentina also wins the penalty. Joaquin De La Vega to the ground, earns a penalty. Offside, number 12. Just offsides is Lee Jaibach. Argentina goes quickly over the line, and it is Luciano. We will go to the break as Argentina with a big lead in front of the Koreans, 26 to nil. A lot of press at home when they normally wouldn't. And that's one of the great things about the Olympics and, and, and what it does is it's turned the spotlight on the sport of rugby in countries that maybe would never other get it and it helps grow the game and it encourages young you know, kids uh, men and women to pick up the rugby ball around the world and keep growing the sport. It's one of the fantastic things of Olympics taking on sevens rugby. Franco Sabato, a good run for Argentina across the halfway line, now across the 10 meter line, dancing his way towards the try line. There is Hermann Schultz. And Hermann Schultz crosses over for Argentina once again. the pandemic and the first thing he made was his own gym everybody needed a place to train they had to have one in their own backyard well schultz simply welded one and pilates instructor during this pandemic and the hold on international sevens and i would imagine that for yeah, yeah, potentially yeah. the first time alex corbacero did some pilates during the pandemic uh, I, I got quite a few pilates going uh Abs by abs Pilates is a, is, a, is a thing around our household. That's great. Franco Sabato takes one up for Argentina. And then across the line once again. And Argentina 
It is Rodrigo Igro, third whoever's doing stats. The throw from Bazan Velez gets the ball back. And Del Mestre, well, Del Mestre gonna make a case for himself. More pressure in Santiago Gomez Cora's hometown. But having sort of the nine, you know, delayed pass in the loop causes defenders to have to make decisions. And if you make the wrong one, the hole opens up and they pull the strings perfectly. By Korea, they've made a mess of that attack from Argentina. Now it's Kim Kim in. One pass on the outside and clear sailing. Man outside and not used by Lee Gone. Here comes the defense from Argentina. Scoops the ball up and the chance to go across the whitewash is ruined from Korea. And at the end of the game, it'll be a zero on the scoreboard from the team from Korea. And Argentina wins handily 2-1.